Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The food experience is back. And today, I'm going to go over some breakfast. Going to make some scrambled eggs and some applewood bacon. And, you know, scrambled eggs are kind of a personal thing. There's many ways to do it. Everyone has their own take on it. I watched many videos. I've come to conclusions of cooking it myself all kinds of different ways. And I'm going to show you the way I do it. Because I like mine a little bit more stiff. I don't like them runny or super creamy. Uh, I don't like them dried out either. They definitely got to be moist, you know. And I'm also going to be using the Caloric Max Air Fryer to cook the bacon in. And I've been experimenting with different methods in it. And um, we're going to try it another way today because I always like to change it up till I find that perfect bacon. You know what I mean? So let's get started. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the Max. And I'm just going to leave it in regular air fry position. You don't need to use the bacon preset, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and set it. 12 minutes ought to do it. And I'm going to change it from 425 to 355. I like using a lower temperature. I find that when I do too high of a temperature, it really kind of burns the bacon, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and start the preheat. While it's preheating, you'll notice the air fry blink. When it's done preheating, it'll no longer blink. It'll turn solid, okay? So that's definitely a good tip on the preheat. I didn't even know about that feature until I saw it in the Caloric Max Air Fryer Oven group that I'm in. Big shout out to you guys in Facebook land. So I am going to use the bacon tray on top of the drip pan. And while the oven's preheating, I'm going to go ahead and lay out my bacon. And you want to go ahead and lay the strips across just like that. I'm going to go for four strips. This also is a fairly thick cut bacon. Don't know if you could see it, but not the thickest and definitely not thin bacon. Okay, now that the Max is heated up, the air fry is solid. It's no longer blinking. And I'm going to go ahead and put the bacon in. And I'm gonna go for the bake two position. I've tried the air frying position, I've tried the bake one position, and um, I've had different results depending on the temperature and time, but I'm gonna try for bake two. Try to get it in as quickly as possible so the oven doesn't cool off inside. And um, it says six minutes remaining, not sure if I'm gonna let it go the whole cycle. It just depends on how well the bacon gets cooked. But here we go. While that's going, I went ahead and put three eggs in my container. This is the way I like to do it. Everyone does it different. I've seen Gordon Ramsay mention to uh, put the eggs right in the pan, not stirred up. But I'm just going to go ahead and give it a quick little shake just to get everything mixed in together. You don't want to do it too much, but you want to get it till everything's kind of incorporated. I'm also going to cut off a slice of butter. And I'm going to go ahead and add that into the egg mixture. Next, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my skillet for low. Bacon's coming along. Uh, bacon's probably going to finish before the eggs, I'll tell you that much. In fact, I'm going to let the bacon finish first. No big deal. I could always put it back in there to warm it up. Um, I just should have started the eggs first. And always when you do these things on video. Otherwise, if I wasn't on video, i time this just right every time. Just funny how that is. But the bacon's coming along nicely. As you saw, it started with six minutes. There's one minute remaining, and it's looking pretty good. Definitely looking pretty good. So I think that six minutes ought to be just fine. And of course, it depends on how crisp you like your bacon. I like it on the crisp side, but not too crisp where it just falls apart. It's just like that perfect consistency, you know? Okay, the cycle is done. Let's go ahead and check it out. What I noticed immediately is some of them could go like a minute longer, so I'm going to go ahead and put them back in. And I'm gonna just let it go for another minute. Meanwhile, this strip looks pretty dang good. Gonna go ahead and blot the grease off it. As you can see, it's pretty crisp, but it's still bendable, okay? Okay, it's gone a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Remove it. And let's see what we're looking at now. Gonna go ahead and blot these strips. Some people like to leave the grease. See, that piece just broke right there when I did that, the original piece. Okay, but that looks pretty dang good. Now just waiting for the pan to heat up a little bit, but you don't want to get it too hot. I'm going to go ahead and add the eggs and the butter. And I like to use the spatula. I definitely am going to move the butter around in the pan a little bit until it's done melting. 
You want to keep your eggs going though, okay? You definitely want to keep them going so they don't stick anywhere. And the butter is going to help prevent them from sticking as well. And in addition, it makes it just a little bit more creamy. There we go. It's definitely breaking up now. But you definitely want to keep this process going until it starts firming a little bit. And then we're going to remove it from the heat. There we go. It's definitely starting to firm a little bit now. Now that it's firming, going to go ahead and remove it from the heat and keep stirring because it's still nice and warm. That pan's got a nice warmth to it and the eggs, believe it or not, are still cooking. And then go ahead and put it back on for a little bit, maybe 30 seconds. Then go ahead and remove. Keep stirring. Put it back on a sec. Now it really depends on how firm you like your eggs, okay? Some people like them on the kind of runny side. I like them a little bit more well done than that. Then go ahead and remove again. As soon as you see things start sticking, that's when you kind of want to remove it. It's kind of hard to do this left-handed. I'm a left-handed person, but that burner's right there, and it's hot. I ain't going to lie. Now that things are coming more together, now you can kind of season the eggs with some salt and pepper. We're on the final stage right now. So I'm going to use some oak wood smoked black pepper and some Himalayan pink salt. Put it back on and let her finish up. I kind of just remove it from the heat a little bit. Keep stirring. Put it back on. And you don't want to go past the point of no return because uh, once they're dry, they're dry, you know? And that just about does it right there. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my heat, transfer them to a plate. And they didn't really stick too bad to the pan because I always kept them moving, you know? Okay, and always let your pans cool off. Don't just rush them in the cold water. Um, that's a good way to ruin the coating on them. Let's add the strips of bacon. And voila, breakfast. And there we go, breakfast is served. I got nice fresh scrambled eggs, pretty decent crisp bacon. Let's give it a try. The eggs are moist, but they're not overcooked. Definitely very moist, but yet stiff, the way I like them. The bacon, here's the first strip. This is good. Totally delicious. Great way to start the day. The bacon... Has a nice crispness to it, but it's still a little bit tender in the middle. Let's try another strip. Mmm. -hmm. So good. Eggs came out perfect. Bacon came out perfect. And I think that's just about going to wrap it up. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my breakfast in peace. And... Please leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or recommendations or things that you'd like to see me do. I always like hearing from you guys, totally. The more comments, the better. And feel free to interact with each other as well. And yeah, let's just keep it rolling with the comments. It keeps the channel alive and active. And I'm really trying to build this channel up. 
Got all kinds of different things, as you can see. Anything food related, that's what my channel's about. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Got all kinds of good stuff coming up. And with that said, have a stellar day. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me. I'm KJ Andio, your food experience host with the most. Y'all take care, and I'll see you later.